Welcome to Film Riot Mondays. Today we're doing something a little bit different since we just released our brand new royalty-free music pack, which is our 80s synth pack. It's definitely one of my favorite. Ben absolutely killed it. Ben Worley composed it again. Seth Worley produced this one, helped him come up with some great ideas, and that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look into their process in creating this pack. If you want to check out the songs in the pack, you can do so in a link in the notes below. But now let's get to Ben and Seth. Hello, guys. So having done my research, I started to track down any and all vintage synths or gear I could get my hands on. My plan was to combine era. What happened? No! no! My mastering engineer, Colin Pastor, and I worked tirelessly to figure out like, it's got to sound good. It needs to sound modern and and sound the sound quality has to be good, but what are little things that 80s people did when they were mixing these things? What were little uh, tricks or what kind of compression did they use? And, and Colin actually did a whole lot of research, researching all of everywhere from what compressors, what mixers. He was trying to figure out what they, how they recorded it and how we can emulate those sounds. Of course, a lot of it is a little more polished. This pack is more polished than most 80s stuff arguably would be, but that knowledge that we got, learning how it sounded and how it got to sound that way and what they did to make it sound that way or what limitations they might have really helped us um, keep our eyes on that genre and all that on that style of 80s music. So when Ben and I usually work together, I'm usually directing a film and he's scoring the film. Uh, and we thought it would be a kind of a cool experiment to approach making a stock music pack the same way. When we started this process, the first thing I did was I went online and I compiled a bunch of 80s movie posters and VHS covers together, uh, focusing primarily on movies that I knew Ben and I had probably not seen. Then I went through and looked at each one of them and decided what I thought the movie was about based solely on the poster artwork. And I wrote up a fake plot or a logline, probably one to two sentences for each. And then I took the posters and their fake plots and I sent all that to Ben. And then his assignment was to write a theme for every one of these movies based on the fake plots that I wrote. And then he had to record a five to 10 second demo for each one of them. And then out of those, we would pick our favorites and proceed from there. So of course I had to combine my uh, vintage synth sounds with a uh, modern sound or at least modern instruments that sound like vintage sounds. I use the Moog Model 15 iPad app, which is expensive, but it's totally worth it. I mean, this thing is a total recreation of a Moog modular synth. It's fantastic. It's actually used a lot. I don't really really remember where or where it is in different things, but usually there's like, there's a, uh, several of the bass lines in, in a lot of the tracks. They're all uh, the Moog, uh, an iPad patch, uh, a patch running from my iPad to the computer and I'm playing it through the iPad. There were also a lot of moments as we were working uh, where we felt like maybe we could push it even further make it even more 80s. And I was surprised to see how many times we really ran into that. Um, and of course, I'm very thankful for Seth producing it because he was, Seth really wanted each track to sound just unquestionably 80s. We kept all of our work organized using Airtable, which is my new favorite thing ever. Airtable is great for organizing pretty much anything and uh, accessing it from any of your devices. Here's a look at our Airtable project for this pack. You'll see we've got the official titles over here on the side of the titles that we that we uh, made up for each one. The old title here, you'll see these are the names of all. So I've got the posters here. Here's a uh, video dead. And the plot for that one um, is an ancient demon is trapped inside the television airwaves of a small town. Pretty straightforward. So here you'll see for each of these, we've got all our posters. We've got fake plots. We've got our new titles over here. And then we've got these check marks here for basically if we greenlit the project, I would give my approval with a check mark. Uh, and then Ben would check this one for this key for uh, if whether the project was locked and they were ready for stems. This one's if the stingers the st and stabs were done. This little tree branch is for if the stems were done. And uh, this little box is for whether it was packaged up and ready to go. And then in here we would actually place our uh, Dropbox URLs for demo delivery here. We have, uh, I could put my notes in, then we'd have our rough delivery URL goes in this box, and then I would give my notes in that one. Basically this entire process of delivering demos and roughs via their Dropbox URLs, and then I would put my notes in right afterward, and the process would go from there all the way to the end, and here's our final delivery and master URLs. And it has great filtering and sorting features too. Like say I wanna see only the tracks uh, that we greenlit, and proceeded on, which I guess, you know, it's kind of sorted already that way. But say I can go in and I can say, 
I only want to see the ones where Ben recorded a demo, which was this one. And so the demo is checked. That's all the ones we recorded demos. You'll see that he recorded demos for three that we didn't go with. And see if, you know, if I uncheck that in the filter, that shows all the ones that he did not get around to recording demos for. And then Ben has access to this table over where he's at. So it's uh, incredibly useful. And the mobile app is great too, uh, as it displays your project in a database format that's optimized for looking at it on a phone. We had a lot of fun making this pack. I think you'll find that Ben not only made great stock music, he made great writing music, great running music, a great album of tracks that like I would listen to on my own outside of filmmaking. Uh, they don't sound like parodies, they don't sound like spoofs, um, they sound authentic to the era. They sound like they were pulled straight out of the 1980s and I love them and I think you will too. So, you know, give me your money. Or give Ryan your money actually, he's the one who handles that and then he'll give me some of it. Probably. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, Domain.com is a place to go when the next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity and vision for your brand or idea. The world's top two premier and most recognized domain extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. Of course, .com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. And to give you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. When you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the coupon code FILMRIOT at Domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. So there you have it. Big thanks to Ben and Seth. If you want to know more about the pack, again, check the links below. We have examples to all the tracks that come with the pack as well. And the pack is 14 tracks in total, all royalty free, plus with all those stems broken out, meaning every instrument will be its own track if you want it to be, so you can fully customize it, plus hits and risers to help you edit it even more, so you can really edit it down to fit your scene. That's something that we've really been concentrating on, is to make these something that you could really compose your film with. We took a while going back and forth to try to make this as cheap as possible. And it is $75, which a few people have complained about, but that price is actually insanely cheap for 14 royalty-free tracks. These aren't licensed tracks, meaning once you buy it, you can use it however you want, except selling them as tracks on their own. You can use them in any video game, short film, feature film, theatrical distribution that you want once you bought the pack. And that's not something that you really get anywhere else. Usually you're licensing a track. Like if you go to Audio Jungle, those can be very cheap. 15 bucks for a track, but you are licensing it for one project and one project only with a lot of stipulations. But even if you take that, 15 times 14, and we still have a cheaper pack on our hands with all those stems and the hits and risers. So we're trying to make packs that are extremely accessible for indie filmmakers. Definitely check it out. Hope you guys dig it, and I'll see you next week.